My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Close your eyes. It's E3 2019. All gamers around the world are pumped to see what new things we got coming. What new games we're going to see. You know? We've, we've all got our little live streams going on YouTube, or Twitch, or Mixer, wherever, with our viewers getting ready to watch the festivities that's about to take place. You know? People have traveled all the way to Los Angeles to finally go to their first E3 event, to finally see the festivities in person because this was always one thing they wanted to do that was on their bucket list. See E3 at least one time. And then bam, boom. The first thing you hear is, oh, I'm sorry. PlayStation won't be at this E3 event. Excuse me? <laughs> Nani? Come again? You said what? PlayStation won't be at this E3 event. I'm sorry. I want my refund now. <laughs> I need my refund ASAP because I'll be damned if I watch E3 and I have to depend on... With deals this good, you can't afford not. Bye -bye. But Larry, what if we want to make it really easy? Then give them the thrill of Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, boy. Delete. 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 What's so funny about this news, PlayStation, just in case you guys didn't hear the news, uh, PlayStation will not be doing E3 next year. This junk came in November. We ain't even done with this year yet, and this junk came out already. Hey guys, sorry, we're not doing E3 next year. Not even an hour after the news came out that PlayStation was not doing E3 next year, these suckers over at Xbox post on their Twitter, Are you guys ready to jump into E3 2019 for Xbox? <laughs> no, sucker, we're not. What are y'all going to show us? See you, thieves. DLC? Some more instead of Decay 2? Forza? Some gear? <laughs> some Bruh. It's just funny to me because Xbox, Xbox came literally right as soon as that. It's right as soon as that news dropped. Talking about, are you ready to jump into Xbox E3 2019? No, sucker, we not. Crackdown 3 looks horrible. Suckers is tired of freaking seeing Sea of Thieves. State of Decay 2 is trash. Halo Infinite, we don't know what that's going to be. Gears 5, you know, it's Gears at this point. You know, Gears has lost some of its magic, just like Halo. No, we're not ready to jump in. What are you talking about? <laughs> What are y'all suckers talking about? You just had a horrible uh, freaking X-2018 event. I, I don't know if that's going to be like a reoccurring thing for them. Like, it, I, you know, because Nintendo has the Nintendo Direct and the Treehouse, whatever. I don't even know if those two are different. The freaking Treehouse event and Direct, I don't know. But Nintendo has that. Play uh, PlayStation has PSX. Is Xbox thing going to be the X... I don't even know what you call this thing. I just know it was called like X018 <laughs> or something like that. So I guess next year, if they keep on doing it, it'll be like X019. I don't know. But let me be fair. <laughs> let me be fair. P PSX 2015, the very first PSX was horrible. I remember reviewing that junk. It was bad. So let me be fair. This was their first time doing this little thing. It was bad this year, but that was their first one. Maybe if they keep on doing this, it'll get better. You know how PSX has gotten better throughout the years. You know, um, let, let, let me be fair. <laughs> you know, the only thing that I could think of is that they are trying. And I, I kind of, once PSX was, I think the first PSX was in 2015, I think. 
once PSX was like known to people, and you know, and, and then PS, I think PSX 2016 was also like really good. Last year's wasn't really that good, but uh, once PSX was known, I always kind of seen like, okay, what is this? I, I, I was always like questioning, okay, what is this going to be? Is this just going to be like a show for PlayStation fans, you know, just towards the end of the year to see, you know, what things that PlayStation got going for the next year? Or are they going to try to turn this into their main show? PlayStation has been a part of E3 for 24 years. 24 years, okay? This will be their first time that they're missing E3. And say what you want. Yes, E3 has Microsoft. Nintendo does their little treehouse event. <laughs> you know, their little Nintendo Direct. EA, Ubisoft, Bethesda. Uh, who else you got during um, E3? You know, you got that trash PC show that you know, you know that that's like between the shows and stuff like that. Sony is like the meat of E3. Pretty much, like, let's be real, even if you do not like PlayStation, we all know E3 really don't start until Sony takes the stage. That's just what is accepted in the gaming community. Like, even even Xbox diehard drones, they tune in to watch PlayStation just to see what they got going on, and vice versa. You know, people tune into Xbox as well, but not the same way with PlayStation. There's, like, magic in the air when PlayStation starts because these suckers do it so extra. They freaking get on stage and have suckers wearing, I don't feel <laughs> They always start their conference doing something special where suckers is like singing on flutes or trombones or <laughs> they got a band in the background. We all know they're a little extra during E3, but it, 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 it does add to like, you know, the magic that is E3, you know, so Sony backing out of e3 is huge like and i think you know on the show floor when like you go to e3 they take up like a good amount of the show floor the fact that sony won't be there you're just gonna have an empty ass section <laughs> you could have an empty bond section of the show floor with all of the space that they rent out during e3 there's a lot of there's a lot of ifs that's going to take place with Sony not being a part of E3 this year. E3 2016 was like a double-edged sword for Sony. If you guys remember, that was the year that they started their conference off with that orchestra on stage. It was doing all this chuck in the background and boom, God of War was revealed. That was the year they showed off God of War. They showed off uh, Days Gone. They showed off Spider Man. They showed off, uh, I think Death Stranding was teased there. Um, they showed off, I think there was a teaser of Ghost of Tsushima. Horizon was there. Even though Horizon was revealed, I think at E3 2015, they showed like a lot more of it at E3 2016. Um, they showed off, they pretty much busted their whole load on E3 2016. And then at PSX 2016, if I'm getting this right, yes, PSX 2016, that's when they showed the first Last of Us 2 trailer. E3 2016, just 2016 for Sony was huge because they showed off damn near everything like they 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 emptied their whole clip on that year e3 2016 set the set the bar so high for sony after that people just are people expect bangers from sony fair or not that's what they that is the position that they've put themselves in after e3 2016 people expect every year year in year out no matter how many other conferences they have in between that come e3 oh sony got something to show for us so sony has something huge to show off to us and when that's not shown when you know our mind is not blown by something or they don't really have all that too much to show that we don't know about then it's like really sony like, y'all just show stuff that we already... <laughs> the, 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 I don't want to say that they're in a no-win situation because Sony is doing really good this generation, but they've put themselves in this spot that they're in. So, 
now, you know, bam, they're not doing PSX this year. There is no PSX this year. They've already backed out of E3 next year. They're listening to what we're saying, clearly. <laughs> like, clearly they are listening, you know, to the feedback that they're getting on their, uh, you know, little shows that they have. So, I don't, I don't know, because people are talking about PlayStation 5. We've been in this, gen well, well this, this generation started in uh, November of 2013. It's crazy that we're, because yeah, I'm really starting to see, like, more and more people talk about ps5 we know that ps5 is being worked on i just don't know when it's going to be revealed but it is being worked on right now and it's just crazy i i, I still remember doing my ps4 unboxing and then bam suckers is now waiting for ps5 it's crazy to me. <laughs> it's crazy to me but um people are saying that this is sony backing out of e3 2019 is them is is pretty much them prepping for PSX next year, PSX 2019, and that's where they're going to reveal PlayStation 5 and stuff like that and put it all out there. I don't, I don't know if I, <laughs> I maybe, but I, it, it, most of the time, these generations last like six to seven years and then we move on, you know, um, so I'm I'm still thinking that we got like at least another year, you know, or max two until like PlayStation 5 is actually revealed. We know it's being worked on, but revealing it, that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> like when you reveal a new console, that's like saying, okay, we're entering the last stages of PS4 and hey, start saving for a uh, PS5. So it's like... It's like Working on it is a whole entirely different thing from revealing it, at least in my opinion. So people saying that they're going to reveal PS5, you know, at PSX next year. I mean, actually, actually maybe because I because I'm forgetting that PSX is like right at the end of the year. PSX takes place in December. So that pretty much is a full year. I mean, because I'm thinking 2020. You know, uh, is when, you know, PSX 2020 is when, you know, they, or or maybe E3 2020. Because I, I, I do not think that, just because they're backing out of E3 this year, I don't think that, in the, Jesus God, for e 3 sake, I hope not. I hope they're not backing out of E3 permanently, because if they do, that is really going to hurt E3. I don't want to say E3 is going to die and stuff like that, but you know, kind of the route that Nintendo takes with E3 to where they kind of do their own thing. If PlayStation does that, <laughs> I don't know, bro. E3 might be going down the drain, fam. And that's like such a that's like such a huge event for gamers, you know, during June, especially when it's the sun when it's in it's like right in the heart of summer. To where, you know, people got more time to themselves and got stuff to watch and stuff like that. I wouldn't want to see that. So, I, I don't think Sony is completely done with E3. But I do think with this move, they are trying to turn PSX into, like, the main thing. I think they want PSX to be, like, of course, they still might have some stuff to show during E3. But come PSX, that's going to be their show you know, that's wanting to be where they show off all the new stuff going into, you know, the next year. That's what I think. I think they're trying to turn PSX into something huge, like every year, year in, year out. And that's why they're not doing, that's why they're already announcing that they're not doing E3 next year. Don't know. What do you guys think <laughs> about everything going on right now? I'm actually glad this happened because it's finally something to really talk about in game. I don't, when all this other stuff is going on in games, like there's no cross play in Fortnite and stuff like that. I don't care about that stuff no more. I'm not going to get on camera and talk about something in gaming unless it's really good or it's really big. And I think this is one of those things. So I'm actually glad this is happening because this is actually something i have a passion to talk to talk about right now because it's actually like a big thing but what do you guys think about 
everything that's going on let me know down in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed this video next year is going to be very interesting i'll see y'all later